A family in Kalamazoo eager to move back into their home after it caught fire last year. It's been under construction since then, and due to coronavirus, it may be under construction for even longer. Our Lauren Edwards joins us live down there after speaking to the family about that dilemma. Lauren? Doug and Janice, the house you see behind me definitely is under construction. I want to show you the garage over to my right because there's wood over where the garage doors would be. Now, we spoke with the family and they were just telling us that yesterday uh, construction crews were here. Today, they're not and they just don't know when those construction crews will be back. It was my dream home. I'm from out east and it's based on plans from a house out east and um, it's my dream home and I want to get back. Karen and Chad Janszewski hoping to make the dream a reality and move back into their home after months of being displaced. Back in November, November 25th, we had a fire in our garage, a lot of smoke damage in the house, so there's nothing in the house. Garage had to be rebuilt. Along with the rest of the house, they've since been living in a rental. We have a roof over our head, so we're happy, but it's not home. John Bucco and his team at Bucco Brothers General Contractors have been rebuilding the house, getting it ready for a late July move-in date for the Janszewskis. But Wednesday, he stopped because he didn't know if their work was considered essential under the governor's executive order. So we were trying to get clarification on, you know, what is essential, what's going to keep my guys safe, customers safe, and follow the governor's orders. He says other construction companies in the state were stopping projects, too. The Janszewskis had the same question about what's essential, so Karen made a few phone calls Thursday morning. I first called the home builders of right in Kalamazoo, and they could not answer my questions and felt that I had a good point about essential versus non-essential due to being displaced. Karen also called Lansing and left a message. She hopes someone will get back to her soon as she's anxious to return home. I just think that being displaced in a rental home with rental furniture um, puts great stress on a family, financially, emotionally. And we've also reached out to the attorney general's office just even within the last few hours. And they were telling us that they have been inundated with messages and phone calls all about the same sort of situation, like what is considered essential and not essential, even like what the Janszewskis are dealing with here. So the best advice that they're giving everyone, if you have any question and you want any clarification, to refer to the coronavirus website that they have that's up right now and, and to give them a call. All that information you can find at fox17online.com or by cl clicking on our mobile app. Reporting live here. Here in Kalamazoo, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. Thank you for that, Lauren. We wish them the best of luck with that.